This video is for a 1982 Chevy Silverado C10 with a 6.2 liter diesel engine. I'm having problems with the glow plugs. Uh, basically when I turn the key, the glow plug light is not coming on. So I wanted to kind of show how the glow plug system is set up on this machine uh, because I couldn't find a lot of videos on it. So since I've kind of figured out how some of it works. I wanted to show it to someone else in case they have the same problem or similar problems that might help them. Um, a lot of people talk about doing a bypass and a manual switch or different kind of solenoids and all kinds of things but I wanted to try to keep this original. So this is the original setup and this is how to fix this setup. So on this vehicle um, it has two batteries so on the driver's side you've got a red cable coming off the battery terminal going over to a glow plug relay and the relay connects over to the glow plug controller which is behind your air breather and that controller touches the coolant screws into the block touches the coolant senses the temperature of the engine and tells the relay when to come on or off so if your glow plug relay is bad and you don't hear clicking which when it engages it clicks, kind of thumps honestly, um, then obviously one of the fail points is the relay. But in this case I replaced the glow plug relay already and when I turn the key I still don't get any glow plug light and any thump out here on the fender. So um, obviously you've got a lead coming in towards the front of the relay towards the front of the vehicle. You've got your two wires going into the slip-on plug and then you've got a lead coming off on the left side. So that all connects over here to the controller. So if that controller goes bad then it's not going to fire that relay and it's obviously not going to heat the glow plugs. Um, you can also have symptoms of your glow plugs um, staying on too long and so that can be in this case this vehicle was giving me a warning and I didn't realize it but the glow plugs were actually, um, after the engine would start, they would stay on for more seconds than normal. And so I think that was the warning sign that the controller was going out. Because as I said, I replaced the relay and still didn't work it. I replaced the controller just now and it is working fine. Now the glow plugs are firing like they should. So hopefully that helps. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It'll be my first truck repair video. <laughs> Thanks.